Well, good afternoon. We are going on a bug hunt. Yes, a bug hunt. The 150 Sigma Macro F2.8 and the Nikon D500. So we're going on a bug hunt. So I'm in a nature reserve, about half an hour's drive from my home. There's a lot of ponds, a lot of reeds, a lot of uh, um, wildflower meadows as well around here. So I'm gonna go along and see what we can get. Damsel flies, anything anything buggy so we're going to be taking it with this and any pictures I'll put up on screen see you later as I wander through this path um, just keeping a look out for anything that flies or crawls now I don't know my insects not at all don't know my butterflies or anything um, I know there's a lot of people out there that, that are quite hot on it but me unfortunately is not. So what I will do is I will take the pictures and I will research what they are and I will put the names of them up on the screen when the relevant pictures come up. But it's looking quite promising. I took a picture of some damsel flies back there and uh, a butterfly as well. So it's given a good test. I mean it's it's got just coming up to it's actually midday actually just gone midday so i'm breaking all the rules of doing this sort of photography they say the sort of like early morning <laughs> or late evening but i ain't getting up early morning and i'm definitely not staying till late evening so um midday i'll have to do so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep wandering around this nature reserve and uh, see what we can get and see what we can pick out and uh, bring you along the way. So when you're out and about doing this sort of photography and you want to sort of like shoot uh, insects and bugs and dragonflies, damselflies, wasps, bees, uh, butterflies, anything like that. Especially butterflies, I wouldn't suggest you go around chasing around a field um, with butterflies. Just pick a space. I mean I've sat on a bench and uh, I had my 70 to 200 and I've sat on there for sort of like an hour and the amount of wildlife that comes to you while you're sat there is uh, amazing and you can just sit there and uh, just pick them off as i walk through here there's a little path that's coming out of the because we're in the wildflower meadow now there's a bit behind me that's uh, been cut there but there's a whole vast area that's just that way i'll swing you around in a minute and give you a look as i was walking through here there's a sort of a ton of damselflies the blue ones you know the little blue ones so with that one, you could just stay still in an area and uh, wait for one to land and then just bring your camera up and take the shot. And what I normally do is, is I put my feet sort of like two feet apart, one in, one, one in front of the other, just slightly spaced and in front of the other. And I hold my camera up and as I go in, I just gently lower myself in like that and get in the manual focus and then taking taking the picture. That way, when you, especially with butterflies and damselflies, because this time of day in midday is they're, 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 all, they're always active. They're never still, you know. So you're going to find it a bit difficult to uh, get the picture you want because they're always jumping about. So I suggest that you don't go chasing stuff about. Just pick an area and sit there. I stood over there for about ten minutes. I had damselflies all the way around me, and I took a couple of photos. There's a four-spotted chaser. Wow. Wow, well, that was a dragonfly that just blew, flew past. So they're all in here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just have a gentle walk around this these, this uh, field, just walk up it and back down it again. And uh, the sun is quite high and I'm going to have to use compensation exposure. My settings, um, I'm shooting on F8, five hundredths of a second, auto ISO, AFC. Um, single point focus if I'm doing it um, auto focus but majority of the time I will be manually focusing so when I hold my camera and I'm going in I'm just turning the focus wheel and when I get it the distance I want and then take a picture and that's what we're going to do so I'm going to go that way I'll see you in a minute
well, I don't know about you, but this uh, bug hunting, it's easy enough finding the bugs. It's actually taking the photographs, because obviously this time of day they don't stay still very long. You, you really do need to be sort of like early-ish and um, early evening into the evening as well, when they're more docile. But midday, they're more active, bouncing about all over the place. Um, but I got off a few shops, more, more of the damselfly than anything else. Um, I, you, you've probably already seen them all. Um, and the last one I took was of a fly on a leaf, when I actually spent 20 minutes trying to take that photograph. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been good fun actually, it's a good learning curve, a real good learning curve. Um, all with the uh, Sigma 150 macro attached to the D500 body. So not much talking in this uh, video, I just wanted to uh, take the pictures, put them up on screen and let you see for yourself. Um, I'm going to make my way home now. In fact, um, I've only been there an hour and a half. So an hour and a half is all I've been, it's all it's taken. An hour and a half just walking around, taking random shots of bugs. So there we have it. So I'll say thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video guys, okay? Cheers. Mm -hmm.